One FC Ultimate Fighting Championship only trade in the history of our sport that we're aware of. Right? If anybody does, the, it'd, be, it'd be a small regional show and a small regional show and whatever they worked out. Right? I mean, th this was done on a massive scale. And you know who gets who needs to get credit for, it, but he's been left out of the story. Malky. I don't like Malky. I respect Malky. There's a big difference. Malky's the one that did this deal. The only deal of its type to ever be done. And Malky was paid off in terms of appreciation of pats on the back for about two days. When the deal was done, Demetrius Johnson, Ben Askren is what I'm referring to. Ben Askren immediately packed his bag and went to New York City. The fight was going to be the Beast versus Cormier. But if you can get to New York, you are now in the media capital of the world. So Ben Askren lit up. He was doing this media, and they brought Malky along. In fact, I was participating with ESPN, and Malky sat on our set and told us how we did it and told us that he will do it in the future. He had one caveat. You got to be my guys. I'm not, lo I'm not looking to go get Tiki's guys and Ali's guys and Audi's guys. You got to be my guy. Just remember it. It was just one of the things that Malky said. Okay. Was it a good trade? You know, when you do a deal in life, when you're negotiating, when both sides leave the table feeling like, I got them, that's when it was a great deal. That's when you didn't get your face ripped off, but you didn't chop somebody else's head off. You always want to leave something for the next guy. You don't want to go into a table and there's blood on the walls and go act like you did something good. You're not going to do a deal with that guy in the future. It's one of these things. You gotta leave, always leave something for the next guy. Work a deal. It's not just take, it's, it's give as well. Was this a good deal? We now know everything, right? That was an opinion back then. How long ago was that that Daniel and the Beast fought? Four years? Is that a good guess by me? Well, Demetrius has been over there about three, maybe, maybe a little bit less than four. We could guess at that time. We, we just gave, right, America to Singapore. Sorry, I'm going to break this down. Not one to the USA. America just gave. The single greatest fighter that we've ever had. We got back a guy with a beautiful record who's won championships on two different cons in two different organizations and two different weight classes that people don't know. Is it was this a good deal? And I will tell you, by the time Ben Ashkren, this is his very first trip, by the time he left New York City, yes. I mean, that, that's a big New York City is a big part of your breaking down the timeline of this. Demetrius was over. Demetrius is a video game character. He's sponsored by Microsoft, for goodness sake. We just lost him. What did we get? Well, by the time they were done with those two days, I'm telling you, and, and you want my focus group is for that? When the fight happened, Ben was out there doing media for two days. When the fight happened, Ben walked into the arena, hit a nice seat in the very front row. That arena went crazy for him. So we've got this good popularity, is all, is all that I'm sharing. We've got this good popularity. You got all of Ben's skills, of which involved an undefeated record in two different championships, with all of Demetrius's accomplishments. Okay. But it's hindsight where we know. And you know what? It was a great deal. It was a great deal for the point that I laid out that when you're negotiating, you want to leave and feel, I got them. Both sides feel that you've done a great job. Demetrius had a later impact with one. As a matter of fact, you go back to last Friday. They have a North American television deal that he is headlining. He would not be headlining that, and they possibly wouldn't have the deal. I don't know the intricacies and the workings of that, but he is not the main event if he was not American. So I would say that they got paid off in a massive way, just that we can see five days ago go to Ben Askren. What did Ben Askren do? What did Ben Askren do for anybody? Are you kidding me? You do not have George Mosvidal. The George Mosvidal story does not exist without Ben Askren. There was guys in the professional wrestling day. The Brooklyn Brawler comes to mind. But they were known as jobbers. Now, jobber is a derogatory slang. It would be low-level fodder. There's words that you could say that could be a lot meaner. But... It is derogatory nonetheless. And the guys who were the jobbers, 
have a problem with that to this day. And they're saying, wait a minute. I had a role. My role, everybody wants to go in the business and go over. Everybody wants to be on the second row, hold their hands up as a, as a room full of cheers happen. But someone has to get that guy there. Somebody has to put him over. Somebody has to build captivation, go around, do the job, not have the experience that they dreamed of having when they were a kid. And there was only a couple of guys, right? They're known as lifelong jobbers. They're nothing but jobbers. They were nothing job. These guys are coming out and going, yeah, everybody else's role changed because they weren't good enough at it. Guy's a good guy today. He's a bad guy tomorrow. He's in singles action today. He's in tag team action tomorrow. That's true. Even the Hulkster went from red and yellow to black and white. Everybody's role changes. Unless you're really damn good at it. Which the guys, Barry Horowitz comes to mind. And of course, the Brooklyn Brawler. They stuck with it. They stuck with it because it worked. They stuck with it because they were good at it. They stuck with it because they could evoke an emotion. They could get somebody else over. They were team players willing to do it. And they were skilled. So they don't like when they get called a jobber as though it's an insult. I was a jobber. That was, and I, and I was here for 20 years. And I bring that to you because by no means is Ben Askren a jobber, but he did a job. He did a job. And while he wanted to be the hammer, he ended up being a nail. Oh, by the way, it worked. Well, I want to talk about Masvidal's knee and the five seconds and the record set in this, in this huge moment that is still played today on highlight reels. Just to speak to how well this worked, Masvidal did a tour with the former president. The president stood up in front of the world and talked about that knee. He talked all about it. So I'm, I'm only sharing for you. It worked. And this was Ben Askren's role. And it wasn't the one that he set out to have. But how Ben Askren deals with that also helped to serve Masvidal. Because you're not going to make Askren feel bad. As much as you want to hurt somebody's feelings, it's just not going to happen. He showed his face two days later. He went right on Ariel's show. Biggest MMA show in the world. It's an institution what Helwani does over there. Askren was on there. Talked about it every day since, if anybody asks him. Never made him feel bad. Never put him down. He's been in competitions he's lost before. Didn't think it would be in five seconds. But it's just one of these things where Askren continued to serve. George Masvidal does not fight for BMF. We do not sell out Madison Square Garden. The history of Masvidal and Diaz specifically. The Rock, the biggest star in all of Hollywood, does not get into the cage and put a belt around. So I'm, I'm really sharing for it. All of that ties back to Askren. You cannot tell. As much as you want to, the Charles Oliveira story and leave Tony Ferguson out of it. I've seen people try to do that. I've seen them since we're talking about Demetrius a moment ago. I've seen people try to talk about the history of 125 pounds and make it Cejudo and Demetrius. There was three. Benavides. And that gets left out, but it shouldn't. So when you look back at what that trade was and you look back where it stemmed and you look at all the directions that it went, one trade is directly related for the sport's second biggest draw to Conor McGregor. That's George Masvidal. The other trade represents a broadcast deal with Amazon. I think both people can get up, leave the table, and think, I got him. 